Yeah, good day. It's been a long time na I didn't make any uh, video about math. So this time our lesson is how to find the volume of a comb. Uh, basically, there are two types of comb. We have the right circular comb and an oblique comb. A right circular comb Definitely, it has a slant height, the height of a cone, and the radius. And the formula in solving is equals to r squared height divided by 3. That is for the right circular cone. And for an oblique cone, so, of course, it has a slant height and the height of the cone and, of course, the radius or the diameter. So, the volume or the formula of in getting the volume of a cone is equal to area of the base multiplied by the height of a cone divided by 3. But before we proceed on solving the volume of a cone, let me introduce first the nose cone volumes. And there are four nose, nose cone volume. The first one is the prostum. The second one is the elliptical. The third one is the parabolic and the fourth one is the cone itself so if you will notice that these four nose cone volumes have their own formula in getting its volume but we are not going to get the volume of a prostum the elliptical and the parabolic but we are going to solve the volume of a right circular cone and an oblique cone. So, let me show you. So, the right circular cone, again, as I've said, the height is 9 cm and the radius is 3 cm. And the formula is it is equal to V or the volume is equal to pi multiplied by the radius squared times height divided by 3. To substitute the value, uh, the value of pi is constant, that is 3.14, and r is equal to 3 centimeter uh, quantity raised to the second power times 9 divided by 3 okay uh, let us expand 3 centimeter quantity raised to the second power as okay let me bring down first the value of pi which is 3.14 multiplied by 3 centimeter times 3 centimeter times 9 divided by 3. Okay. Let's cancel or divide 3 and 9. So we have 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 9 divided by 3 is 3. And let's multiply the value of pi which is 3.14 by 3 centimeter. So we have 3.14 times 3 centimeter is equal to 9.42 centimeter. And 3 centimeter multiplied by 3 is equal to 9 squared centimeter. We don't need to indicate the denominator 1. It's because we, we all know that any number divided by 1 is the number itself. And let's multiply 
9.42 multiplied by 9 centimeter. And the result is equals to 84.78 cubic centimeter. And that is the volume of a right circular cone. Another example of a right circular cone. So this time, the height is 12 centimeter and the diameter is 8 centimeter. We cannot directly uh, substitute the value of D to our formula, but instead we have to get the radius by dividing uh, D by 2. So we have R is equals to D divided by 2. And the value of D is 8 divided by 2 is equals to 4 centimeter. Again, our radius is 4 centimeter. So this time, we can now substitute the value to the formula which is equals to pi r squared height divided by 3 which is equals to again the value of pi is 3.14 multiplied by the radius which is 4 centimeter quantity raised to the second power multiplied by 12 divided by 3 again Rewrite the value of pi, which is 3.14. And let me expand 4 cm quantity raised to the second power as 4 times 4 times 12 divided by 3. Okay, so this time, let me cancel 3 and 12. So 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 12 divided by 3 is 4. And let's multiply 3.14 by 4 centimeter and 4 centimeter by 4 centimeter. We don't need to divide it by 1. Okay, again, 3.14 multiplied by 4 centimeter is equal to 12.56. And 4 cm multiplied by 4 cm is equal to 16 cm squared. And 12.56 cm multiplied by 16 cm squared is equal to 200.96 cubic cm. And that is the volume of the right circular cone. So this time, let me solve an oblique cone so an oblique cone has a height of 15 centimeter and the radius of 3 centimeter using the formula v is equals to the area of the base multiplied by its height divided by 3 let me get first the area of the base and the area of the base is equal to pi r squared. And the value of pi is equal to 3.14 multiplied by 3 centimeter quantity raised to the second power. Again, let me expand 3 centimeter quantity raised to the second power as bring down 3.14. And then 3 cm squared is equal to 3 times 3. And the product of 3.14 and 3 cm is equal to 9.42 multiplied by centimeter multiplied by 3 cm. So we have 28.26 cm squared. So that is the area of the base. So this time, we can now solve the volume by substituting the area of the base to our formula. So which is equals to 
28.26 cm squared multiplied by uh, 15 cm divided by 3. Okay, so this time we can cancel 3 and 15. So 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 15 divided by 3 is 5. And now let us multiply 28.26 cm squared by 5. So the result is 141.3. Cubic centimeter, and that is the volume of an oblique cone.